Hello, everyone. This is Nan. Thanks for the great opportunity to share the stories of my PhD experience under the instruction of my mentor, Doctor Biao Li. Doctor Li is the director of Biomedical Imaging Research Institute, BIRI, of Cedar Sinai Medical Center, and professor in medicine and bioengineering in UCLA. I'm Nan Wang. I just officially received my PhD degree on September 11th under the instruction of Doctor Li. It still comes to me vividly the first time I met with Doctor Li and the entire group exactly five years ago, in the September of 2015. At that time, I was new to MRI field and I have no idea how to perform research. Five years later, with the guidance and unconditional support from Doctor Li. With the hard work of every group member, we have developed this novel DCE technique, multitasking DCE, which enables adequate coverage with high spatial resolution, high temporal resolution dynamic T1 mapping at one second per face, free breathing acquisition with motion resolved recon, and reduced dose with equivalent diagnosis. This technique has been tested on patients with clotted atherosclerosis, pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. And breast cancer with very promising results. The first lesson I learned from Doctor Li is how to set up the objective for research work. That is, start from practice and think wider. At the beginning, we did lots of literature searches about the state of art DCE techniques, their strengths and limitations. We also had lots of conversation with clinicians about what's their actual needs. From where we figured out that the most unmet need in DCE is to simultaneously achieve adequate coverage and high spatial and temporal resolution, and also to resolve motion. Multitasking framework with the ability to exploit the high dimensional image correlation and thus accelerate the scan perfectly matches our goal, and that's how this multitasking DCE story begins. Next lesson from Doctor Li is how to make clear and feasible plan to achieve the goal. Doctor Li has three very famous questions: What's the result? What's your conclusion? And what's the next step? These three questions right hit the point of how to make things work. In each step, always have a clear hypothesis, specify the problems to be solved, think of methods to be used. Plan for the data to be acquired and analyze the data in a proper way to draw the conclusion. Finally, implementation of each small step build up a big work. Teamwork and collaboration are also key factors to a successful research. As a director of BIRI, Doctor Li always manages to build an open and positive environment for everyone. We have group meeting every week for people to share their results, talk about problems and solutions. And learn from each other. Within the office, lots of discussions are going on every day. With experience and help from all the intelligent members, we can really solve problems and work efficiently. Doctor Li also create a lot of opportunities for the collaboration with clinicians. During those collaborations, we get a chance to have a better understanding of clinical background. We can plan our technical development based on the practical issues. Also, we can seek the opportunities for patient study. On the other side, this is also a way for clinicians to learn about the advantage of novel techniques and express their needs. This is really helpful to build a bridge between the technical development and the clinical applications. Despite all the resources and help, research is still not an easy job. We encounter tons of problems on the way, and there were lots of really frustrating moments. We first started multitasking DCE from the imaging of clotted vessel work. Sequence and recon framework were already. The first case was promising. However, on the second case, something unwanted just happened. There was a bunch of bulk motion during the data collection, which totally ruined the image quality. I was quite disappointed at that time. Doctor Li noticed it and encouraged me by saying that. Troubleshooting is what research are about. Also, since the bulk motion is actually inevitable in DCE scan, which is usually spent for a few minutes, so this is a, an excellent opportunity to figure out a way to deal with the bulk motion in multitasking framework, 
to turn this problem into a breakthrough. Then Dr. Lee and I will look at the data set together, found out that the bulk motions always corresponded to some uh, unusually high residual after the subspace estimation. So by identifying and removing those uh, time points and completing the training data back based on the image correlation, we can highly improve the image quality and get a very good image. This memory is very inspiring. Since then, it comes to me every time I run into problems because this is a time that I really understand how to look at the obstacle from the other side as a chance to make progress, a chance to improve, and then just go for it. Equipped with the positive attitude and the hard work from all the intelligent brains, we solved the problems one by one on the way to multitasking GCE and achieved very promising results. This is an example multi-dimensional images of multitasking DCE. We can view the 3D volume, we can view the saturation recovery period, which is used for the dynamic T1 mapping. We can look at the respiration itself, and also we can look at the multiple DCE phases without the contamination of contrast and motion. This is a result of the quantitative DCE parameters obtained from a healthy volunteer and from patient with clotted atherosclerosis, patient with a pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, and patient with breast cancer. Those parameters show significant differences between normal and diseased tissues, indicating that this technique is feasible in the characterization of multiple diseases. We are also planning to apply multitasking DCE on larger patient cohort, acquire more data, include more analysis, to ultimately benefit clinical applications. Now it's a perfect time for me to look back at my PhD journey. Besides all the MRI knowledge I've obtained along the way, there are something much more important I learned from Dr. Lee and the entire group. First, I would keep an open mind to the frontier of MRI field. I would have a practical plan and stick to it. Collaboration is very important it can push the edge forward of our work. Teamwork is also a key factor. BRI is definitely one of the strongest team for research. We have Dr. Lee as a role model for established scientist and successful leader. I received crucial advice from Anthony, Yi Bing, and Zhao Yang, who are very brilliant young scientists. Our Siemens onsite scientists Xiaoming and Fei provide us with a significant help in the se sequence design. Also, Sun, my colleague and husband, who is uh, also working on quantitative MRI. We met at Dr. Lee's group. We both received our PhD this month. Most important is uh, research is never just about fancy techniques and publications. We should always think how to turn the research work into practical application to benefit and serve people. Thanks, Liz and Carson, for this interesting program. I just want to add a few words on what worked well with NAN from my perspective. First and foremost, to be successful in anything, one has to be passionate and have the conviction that the work has a higher purpose. This is the environment I try to create for our team by involving clinicians in our weekly meetings and applying our techniques to answer important clinical questions. Nan's passion for research motivated her to take ownership of the projects and develop initiatives to solve technical challenges. An ideal mentee should be a willing, quick, and critical learner, and Nan is very much that. We have a large team of faculty, clinical, and industry collaborators, and students and postdocs. Nan really thrived in this environment and does a very good job of communicating with and helping each other. Nan is involved in multiple projects, and she does a good job of setting clear targets for each project and working hard to get things done on time. In summary, it has been a great pleasure working with Nan in the last five years. 
and I thank you for the opportunity to share our experience.